Hello to everybody. Uh, the, today's uh, webinar uh, is devoted to the seism seismic uh, uh, vulnerability uh, of industrial structure, precast and steel. My name is uh, uh, Roberto Nascimbene and uh, I'm the CEO of Mosaic, whose uh, let's say vision is to put the most advanced and recent developments in the field of uh, structural modeling at the service uh, of uh, so society at large through, uh, through the provision of a state-of-the-art uh, consultancy to industry sectors such as engineering, construction, utilities, let's say insurance, legal arbitration and so on. In other words, we believe and work towards what we say usually a model world. We have a team of highly skilled and qualified collaborators, all of whom with PhD or master degree on structural modeling and related fields, currently splitting their time between uh, uh, the provision of consultancy service and the engagement in research activity. And uh, our company, Mosaic works closely uh, with its clients to analyze the behavior of different types of structure, let's say cast in place, precast, steel, timber, composite, uh, infrastructures, bridge, tank, pipeline, subsystem like steel connection, by using advanced numerical analysis such as nonlinear, static, dynamic, time history, robustness, prog progressive collapse, impact. And blast and buckling. Uh, today, today, the presentation will uh, discuss uh, a general uh, um, overview regarding uh, seismic analysis and modeling uh, technique about structures under an earthquake loading. It will be used uh, Midas Gen for global analysis of building and Midas FEA for local advanced and nonlinear finite element analysis. Precast and steel structure will be presented, focusing on the main vulnerability uh, and highlighting improvement in order to make the structure able to resist to an earthquake. Uh, I'm also, let's say, a member of the committee of the record tree, and this is the reason why error codes uh, will be applied to all the example uh, shown later. Uh, let us start with uh, the precast structures and say that in Italy the extensive use of uh, uh, reinforced concrete uh, precast structure in the industrial field and in the service sector is the reason of the great, uh, uh, I mean, development of one story building, one story precast structure, and of more limited number of multi story ones, whose demand uh, is constantly increased in the recent, in the recent uh, let's say, 20 years, 30 years. In the, in the case of uh, uh, residential building, more traditional solutions like uh, uh, such as cast in place concrete structure and masonry ones are usually used for many reasons we like to introduce the main information on typologies of precast structure and element behavior uh, the success of the technique of the prefabrication in italy mainly depends on the speed of construction on the relatively low cost uh, so uh, it is quite understandable that the method of the emulation of the cast in place concrete envisaged by the modern design codes of the main seismic uh, prone country never had particular success in the italian context in the past years because mainly it results in a uh, partially increase in site labor and longer time of uh, construction. 
the uh, interesting solutions, uh, let's say, developed worldwide in the past decades among them, let's, let's say, dry connection, are not usually uh, currently used in Italy for the uh, above reason and uh, because uh, for precasters are usually uh, looking for more, let's say, easy solution. Within this context, the main characteristic of uh, our traditional reinforced concrete precast multi-story building, as well as the one-story structure, uh, are precast socket column foundation connection, monolithic column fixed at the base and with corbels at different uh, heights in order to support the beam at each story, shear resistant or partially flexural resistant beam column connection, which usually consists of uh, steel elements without cast in place concrete, horizontal structural element simply supported or pinned to the column, panel supported by the structure or by the foundation beam. Particularly, it is, let's say, generally recognized that the connection are one of the weak points in terms of uh, local resistance capacity and global seismic response. The numerical and experimental investigation on this topic are quite of relevant interest. In addition, the possible seismic retrofit of the Italian reinforced concrete precast structure potentially is a very wide worldwide topic, almost still entire to investigate, especially for work concern multi-story building. Let us investigate the most common element typology starting with the beams. Here we focus to uh, the uh, boomerang type of building and to uh, the double slope beam here and uh, if we uh, seismically focus on them we can understand one important main vulnerability of this kind of beam that later we would like to model at the mid at the mid spam uh, the height of the beam is uh, a few meters above uh, the top uh, of the column. This means that the mass of the roof is moved up of many meters uh, and this will for sure change the period of vibration. Uh, change means uh, that it increases the period of vibration. This fact will probably reduce forces but unfortunately it will for sure increase displacement and we know that the seismic design is more a displacement based performance design and not a force design. Common type of uh, deck um, in multi-story structure uh, and uh, let's say roof element in a single story. The most used is the holocore slab that we will investigate uh, uh, later. Uh, common type of uh, long span roof element representing a classical Italian production of uh, roof beam that can reach up to uh, 32, 33 meters long. We must be careful uh, for sure which kind of connection should be, should be used at the end of the beam. Usually uh, it is simply supported on, on a few centimeters, but we will see later. Uh, common type of uh, columns uh, and uh, foundation. Uh, connection between column and foundation, we say that a very common solution is the use of totally or partially precast socket based foundation. In case of uh, a poor uh, bearing capacity of the soil, traditional alternatives are such as pies, beams, or forced concrete slabs are used anyway. A problem we should be considered with particular care is the connection between the reinforced concrete tie beams and the socket-based foundation because of, of the demand by precaster 
of simple techniques without casting place concrete due as we have seen before to the increased use of unskilled labor and increasing in time in addition uh, despite the simplified design method the tie beams used